The game is uh, Global War from White Dog Games and uh, Arben Madison and Wes Ernie. Uh, it's a solo game, strategic. Um, the game is just fantastic. I, I it's the best solo game I've ever played. It's it's just crazy good. Um, in this current game, I'm right. I just finished the August 1942 turn, so we're right in the middle of the hardest part of the war. Um, just to give you a quick recap of what's going on, um, we're pretty much deadlocked in on the west front. Uh, we're deadlocked down in the Mediterranean. Um, Malta has fallen, unfortunately. Um, you know, long ago, the Balkans fell to the uh, Nazis. Um, up in the east front, we uh, Stalingrad is right now uh, under siege, um, which is crazy. I mean, that's that's kind of awesome for us, though, a little bit, if we can hang in there. Um, we've taken care of some of the ancillary areas like uh, uh, the Caucasus and Syria. Um, unfortunately, Belgian separatists down in the Congo have revolted, and so we're not able to get any uranium uh, to enrich to, to uh, work on the Manhattan Project. Over on in Asia, on the other side of the world, um, China has pretty much just kind of been deadlocked for a while, relatively quiet so far. Uh, the Burma Road has been closed. Uh, south in, in Burma itself, uh, kind of a status quo right now, kind of deadlocked. The Japanese are basically concentrating all their attention down in the South Pacific. Uh, Guadalcanal is currently under siege. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of naval units in uh uh, around Midway and a lot down in the Coral Sea. Um, the Philippine Sea is strangely quiet. For the Battle of the Atlantic, we have a slight advantage right now. We have four convoys as opposed to three U-boats. We've sunk um, any uh, German surface raiders out there. Um, there is a U-boat coming in in a couple turns. Um, uh, we have some partisans in the Philippines, uh, but they really can't do anything right now. They're ineffectual while the siege of, uh, while the, the focus is at Guadalcanal. So, you know, we're hanging on by the skin of our teeth here. We're still pretty good as far as uh, allied morale go goes. We only have a couple of cities in low. Um, we did have to use Stalin to uh, flip one city and bring it back to high. Um so that's currently where we are. Uh, Churchill is recovering from a special commando mission he did, and um, Stalin is recovering from um, uh, some uh, shock attacks he uh, orchestrated. And uh, we've used up a lot of our carriers so far in some vicious carrier battles, so that's a little concerning. But uh, we're just trying to hang on, and hopefully as the game continues, as the conflict continues, we can slowly start to claw our way into an advantage. Um, if you've ever played any Ben Madison games, West Ernie games, um, you kind of know what's going on, but this game far surpasses any of them. Uh, before this game, my favorite uh, game of theirs, solo game, was um, was uh, Nin in the Napoleonic Wars, and that's a great game. But this game completely blows it out of the water. Uh, this is if, if, if you like at all, like solo games, um, World War II strategic, um, I would recommend getting this. The way they're able to pack so much theme and so many small little details and events into such a small package, you know, a 20 page rule book, um, less than 200 counters. You know, this map is fairly small. It's a small footprint. It's just absolutely fantastic. And the decisions that you have to make in this game are Oh, they're they're nail biting. It's 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 a very it's a fantastic game. I would highly recommend you get this. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.